Guess who is back? Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means time to kick back, relax, and talk music. Dear 33ers, I'm back from a hiatus. It's been like a month or so, and uh, I've wanted to leave for a bit to recharge my batteries and take care of some projects around the house, and that's exactly what I did. And I'm back, and you can see one of the major projects I did was um, sort of reorganizing and redoing this music room. It's painted. It's a whole different color, a whole different vibe. I'll quickly show you here some shots of me painting the room. I was happy to get rid of that greenish color. That's kind of what I inherited. That was the color of the music room when we moved in. So I kind of picked this grayish color to um, to redo the music room. And uh, yeah, it felt good to switch that up. Anyway, um, actually, hold on. Let's do a little blip here and a come right back. Just did that because I could stop playing that music. Um, so I resume regular videos starting Sunday. My first video official, well, I guess this is my first official video, but my first Sunday video is going to be an in depth tour of this music room. So I hope you tune back for that. I wanted to use this video to uh, quickly open and show you some of the mail I have received um, since I've been gone. There's some records. It's kind of like when I get mail, I open it. So you'll notice a few outfit and scenery changes in this video. That's just because I opened the mail as I get it. Um, I also got this from a channel 33 RPM viewer who's asked to remain uh, anonymous. But uh, I did want to show you this box. It came all the way from the USA and it's full, 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 full of some more eight tracks so this was awesome a lot of cool stuff in here i don't know if you can see this uh, joe walsh uh, the who queen boston sabbath check this one out i showed this on social media a while back like this um version of black sabbath master of reality and if you can see that check out the artwork something completely different it sounds like this was a, a bootleg or an unofficial version of it but i think it's a cool variation not much one for bootlegs and unofficial releases but this was a cool version of it this was made in the usa so this is great. Thank you very much for sending that over. Now, uh, some other mail segments. Check them out. A couple pieces here to open. This first one comes from Ryan Jackson's in Chino Hills, California. And according to the customs declaration, there are two albums in here. And I don't think I know what these are. So let us open it. Look at this box. I love this. I haven't seen one of these. Fragile. Do not crush phonograph records. Fragile, do not bend phonograph records. That's cool. I have not seen shipping boxes like that. Oh no, I do know what this one was. Yes, 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 yes. We had talked about this, but I wasn't expecting two records. I was only expecting one. Okay, this comes from Ryan and he is on Instagram, Purple Paisley Skies. Hey Frank, my name is Ryan. I'm from Chino Hills, California, about 45 minutes east of Los Angeles. I'm a music junkie and I go to about a concert every month or so. Talks about um, Meba music. I'd love to get there one day. He says, if you ever find yourself in Los Angeles, give me a call and take you on a record hunt that'll make everyone in Canada jealous. Uh, LA is on my um, visit list here in the next couple of years. Anyway, I wanted to pass on a little gem and spread the word about one of my favorite bands, the Claypool Lennon Delirium. So Ryan had actually told me about, um, he was sending this. So I've been listening to this project uh, online quite a bit, and it is fantastic. It's the latest project from Les Claypool, described here as a bass god and the leader of Primus. And it also includes Sean Lennon, a guitar virtuoso with Beatles DNA, um, who I didn't know much about before this project, but he does shred. The record I included is their EP Lime in Limpid Green on clear vinyl with green splatter. It's a reissue of the original, but still limited to 3,000 copies. Uh, 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 um, what else? Uh, I also include their self-titled debut LP as a bonus because you're such a cool dude. Oh my God, Ryan, that's that's awesome. Totally, totally not necessary. I hope you really dig the records and fall in love with their widely psychedelic vibe that I like. Hope you and your family have a great 2020. 
Peace and love, Ryan. Wow, yes, so this is the 10 inch. What's still sealed, it's brand new. Wow. This is fantastic, this one is all cover songs. It's got um, uh, Astronomy Domine, um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's a Pink Floyd cover, Boris the Spider the Who. What a wacky song, but these guys, uh, just, it sounds fantastic. If you haven't heard their version of Boris the Spider, do yourself a favor and check it out. Uh, the Court of the Crimson King and uh, Satori. Anyway, that is freaking awesome. Should we give it an open? Let's do it. You know I like my black vinyl, but once in a while, these are just stunning. Look at that. It looks amazing. I can't wait to give this one a spin. As I said, I've been uh, listening to it on... Um, Spotify ever since Ryan told me about it. And so the Clennon, Clennon, the Claypool Lennon Delirium uh, Monolith of Phobias. Yeah, this is kind of, I mean, you know, Primus is like, uh, it's kind of out there. And this is a bit of odd, weird psychedelia. Oh, really cool. Sometimes I compare this kind of stuff. This is gonna be a weird comparison, but eating like a hot chili pepper, you know, kind of hurts going down. It's just an odd sensation, but you go back for more because uh, you dig it. There is the album artwork and there's the inside. Yeah, a couple odd fellas, but that is excellent. Ryan, this is awesome. You did not have to do it. You went above and beyond. I can't wait to spin this. Thank you very much, good sir. This next one, I don't know what it is. It was a surprise and it came by Courier and it comes from Warner Music Group in New York. Um, last time I got something from Warner in New York, it was that awesome, that awesomely incredible care package from Run Out Groove Records, the 13 pounds of vinyl. The customs declaration on this one says it's one record, um, but I don't know what it is. So here's a note. Okay, yeah, this is from, from Run Out Groove as well. So this is Tony Joe White Swamp Music Monument Rarities. It's a three LP set. So I don't know a lot about this, but there's a cheat sheet. I'm always glad for the cheat sheets. Uh, Tony Joe White was an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist, best known for his 1969 hit, Polk Salad Annie, which was also recorded by Elvis Tom Jones and Dusty Springfield, and for Rainy Night in Georgia, which he wrote, but was originally made popular by Brooke Benton. He grew up on a cotton farm in Louisiana, performing music at school dances, and after graduating high school, in nightclubs in Texas and Louisiana. Uh, okay, well this sounds really interesting. There, thing of beauty, look at that album jacket. So it's a three LP set, how did they do this one? Whoa, whoa, look at that, one, two, three, a trifold. So a bunch of information here, and uh, there we got the tapes. This is really cool. Like, I haven't seen um, this sort of great packaging in a long, long time. This is on a black wax. So, I look forward to uh, checking this one out, and I will report back at some point, either on video or on social, with my feedback. Run out groove. Love you guys, thank you so much. Just got home from work, I got my work clothes on, and I got this in the mail. I was too excited to wait, so I wanted to open it right away. This comes from Trish Mullins, DJ Trish. Trish has a, Trish, pardon me, has a YouTube channel. I wasn't expecting anything from her, so thank you very much, absolute surprise. Trish is well known in the vinyl community for making mixed CDs and sending them off to people. I have gotten one of Trish Trish's surprise packages before the mixed CD and she's absolutely fantastic at this. So DJ Trish, thank you very much for thinking of me and for sending this. And I look forward to give this an open here. Dun dun dun. Mash get everything. So I got some of Trish's cards. Are these cards? Yes they are. Look at this. DJ Trish Rock Reggae Jazz Oldies website and on YouTube. Oh, those are stickers, those are not cards. Stickers, I love stickers. And the letter, my favorite part. Dear Frank, here are two mixes I made over Christmas break. Also included are a few stickers you may keep or pass on. I hope you have a great 2020. Peace, love, and keep the good tunes spinning. Trish. 
Love it. Thank you, Trish. I am going to send you some Channel 33 RPM stickers. So here we go. Trish picks number one. What do we have on here? It's like no one... I love this. This, this is... Um, I was going to call it a lost art. I mean, the mixtape is a lost art. The mixed CD, I guess it is too. And uh, not enough people make these anymore. My computer doesn't even have a CD burner anymore. Um, what do we have on here? Um, uh, I don't know most of these. Ghost Funk Orchestra. The Music Machine with Steve Miller Band, of course. Grateful Dead. Um, Ghost Funk Orchestra, Sunset Boulevard. That sounds very intriguing. I can't wait to listen to it. And here's Trish Picks 2019. Number two, Norwegian Wood, uh, Buddy Rich, uh, Katy Perry. It's like a whole bunch of, it's like so eclectic. Gene Vincent, um, Jorge Ben, my little darling. Uh, I don't know a lot of this stuff. Um, for Frank and family from Trish. That is awesome. Thank you, Trish. I will share this uh, with Sherry as well. And um, um, and we'll play this upstairs tomorrow and check it out. So I love it, Trish. You are a sweetheart. Thank you for sending these over, and we will enjoy them as a family. And I'm going to quickly send off some Channel 33 stickers your way. By the way, I never said this. Trish is in New Jersey, USA. I believe. Let me double check. Yes, New Jersey, United States, Point Pleasant. Trish. Thank you for the surprise. Love it, and we'll enjoy it as a family. Cheers. All right, guys, that is today's music update. I hope you dug it. As I said, I'll be back on Sunday. In the meantime, I'd love if you kept watching Channel 33 RPM videos. I've updated my playlist, including one I'm linking to somewhere here below. It's called My Favorites, where I gathered some of my favorite Channel 33 RPM videos, put them all in one playlist, so you can watch them from back to back to back to back. So please do check that out. Otherwise, I'll see you on Sunday. Until then, Dear 33ers, keep on spinning.